Lamar see is facing more issues. Uh, Logan Paul suing him for defamation and speaking on Prime Energy Drink. Um, also, now he's seeing that him and his lawyers did a nail and hair test and they didn't have osterine in the hair and nails. And now they they saying that, you know, they trying to, you know, delay. But anyway, man, let's talk about it. So he said he got the hair, a hair test. Uh, Osterine is only found in blood, hair, and I mean, urine, all right? So the nail tests don't really fucking matter now. Uh, I just did some small research. I wanted to make sure I got it right. It says that a hair follicle test cannot override a urinalysis. So a urine test, it cannot cannot override a urine test. Long story short, a urine test is more accurate than a hair follicle test. They said a hair follicle test can be used to support a document, but it cannot override a urinalysis, you know, a urine test. So that's the bunk right there. And I'll put it in the thumbnail. If I can put it on the screen, I will. Or I'll share it on social media. All right. So uh, just a, a couple minutes of me, you know, doing some research, debunk that that quickly. So the, the hair follicle test and the nail test mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um... I was looking how long it's staying in here. I didn't get an exact exact answer, but it doesn't override your analysis. So there you go. There you have it right then and right there. So all that back and forth about a urine test, you know, about a, a, a hair test don't matter. The urine test stand tall. So Ryan Garcia is a fucking cheater. Um, he can continue to de delay the inevitable. He said he'd do anything to win versus Devin Haney. You know, he said he was going to try to kill Devin Haney. Uh, he said that on multiple try uh, tries, he deserved to go to jail. You know, and then you got people saying, well, you know, some people only care about, you know, drug testing when they favor fire to get popped. Man, at the end of the day, dude, people in boxing just don't care. They don't care. They more concerned about people who pop hot, who they think is hot, than pop hot. They gave Canelo a pass. They gave M Miller shouldn't be fighting. Dillian White been popped multiple times. Miller been popped on three different occasions. Luis Ortiz been popped on two or three different occasions. So why are these guys still, you know, compete? Especially repeat offenders. Why are they still compete? Some of these guys popped hot in multiple sports. Dillian White and, and Luis Ortiz. So at the end of the day, a lot of these fighters don't care as long as the money, right? You know how many guys who probably popped hot and they swept it up under the rug? And I said this before about Triple G. I said Triple G just didn't take the under the table money to let the fight go on. It's plenty of these dudes. Danny Garcia, uh, Morales popped top versus Danny Garcia in the second fight. And Danny Garcia cho st still chose to fight him. So how many of them backdoor deals you got? These dudes fight once, twice a year. The event over with, they money funny. These dudes value money over integrity. Money over morality. I keep telling y'all that. Y'all be like, well, keep Thurman and mercenary. They all mercenaries. They care about the money. You know what I'm saying? I was reading a story about an Olympic wrestler in the U.S. who was, I think, offered like a quarter million or 350000 to throw a fight. And he ended up losing the the Olympic qualifier. He ended up losing anyway. People said, he's dumb. He could have 350. It's not about the money. It's about his integrity and him not being for sale. But y'all for sale for anything. Y'all, a lot of y'all for sale for whatever. Y'all don't care about character. Y'all don't care about morality. Y'all don't have, care about integrity. But when his shit come back to haunt you, that man would have lost. Let's say he would have lost and he threw the fight and it came back to haunt him. He wouldn't live with himself. That's what I be telling y'all about all these people that's selling they, they, they butt in Hollywood. All these women that's selling their body now. Dog, they never going to be able to be a functional human being again. They're never going to be able to sleep at night. It's like a killer. That song by Ghetto Boy, My Mind Paying Tricks. I'm listening to that song again. About the people who done done so much dirt that they can't even sleep at night. I had a friend used to hit licks, rob motherfuckers. This nigga used to be fighting and sleeping shit, he said. Y'all be with karma and real. People don't get what they deserve. They absolutely do. A lot of these people suffer in silence and act like everything okay on the surface. A lot of these dudes be fucked up for the decisions that they made. And I'm not excluded from that. A lot of these dudes be out here fighting demons, bruh. Real talk. A lot of these brothers and sisters be out here fighting demons. How you think a woman sleep with four or five dudes, right? For money. A night, a week, whatever it is. Two nights, a day. 
And you think she gonna have her sanity? It ain't no therapy in, in the world that's gonna say that. Think a man go Hollywood and he busts down for a role. He busts down for fame. You think he gonna be able to live with himself and look himself in the mirror for too much longer? Absolutely not. It sound good when you get that money. It sound good when you get that position. When you gotta look at yourself in the mirror, you gotta you know think about what I did to get here, man. Money came by your respect and money came by your morality. Money came by your integrity. Them people own you now. Come on, and I and I quite you know you know prostitution. Everybody, oh, yeah, you know. Prostitution is like Rogue from the X-Men. Remember when she absorbed so many people in X-Men Evolution that they started to overtake her body? That's the same thing that happened to a lot of people that have a lot of sex. They so soul ties and you mix energies and shit like that, bro. A lot of people that do that, man, they, 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 they broken people. They can never be whole again. They can never have a peace of mind. This is why a lot of people always think it's, it's a better nigga out there. It's a better woman out there. Oh, it's a woman that is... You done been with so many different people, bro. You want a little bit of that person best. A little bit. None of their negativities and none of the cons that come with it. These dudes will do anything for bread. You know, I'm all for doing anything you got to do to win. Within the legal parameters. Mariah Garcia was forced into this fight. He didn't want to take this fight. He did everything, and he he, he knew he was cheating. And people say, well, you can't erase the loss, and you can't erase the ass whooping, and, and this and that, nigga. Instead of standing and standing, everybody standing together and saying, Ryan Garcia was wrong. We need to take a stand against the sport, against Pez in the sport. We need stricter God. No. Y'all niggas can't even decide on Pez. That's sad. Even when somebody win, you can't even give a motherfucker his credit in winning. Oh, you know, he wasn't right, or he was weight drained, or he was high, or or he was this and he was that. You know, we, we can't even decide on a fucking winner. We can't decide on people cheating, people okay with people cheating, all this type of shit. And mostly people that's okay with people cheating, they don't show their face. And they wouldn't say that shit in front of a, a real a motherfucker face. I'm telling y'all. We can't just say, this is wrong, Devin Haney was cheated. And, 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 and then we need harsher penalties for this. You know what I'm saying? You can't. That motherfucker cheated three times in that fight. Probably four. That was a drug test. He probably had that shit in the system too. Uh, Tom made a good point about him smoking weed to mask that shit. He probably, fucking probably cheated four times. That the original uh, dope that he was cleared of probably masked that shit. He probably cycled off that correctly. Barely did. The Osterine, the IV, and missing weight. And everybody was like, oh, three pounds is nothing. That's a cup of water. Like, nigga don't have no idea what three pounds is. That's over 10,000 in calories, bro. That's over 10,000 in calories, bro. And you tell me that don't make a difference? 3.2 pounds. Well, that ain't nothing but a bowel movement. No, it's not silly dilly. Anything to diminish, diminish a brother. And a lot of the brothers was the diminishing the brother because the brother came from, he came from money. That's why I don't fuck with black people like that no more, man. I'm telling y'all, man. I really don't, bro. I really don't, man. Stay, man. It, just, it ain't even just niggas no more. It's a lot of unhonorable black people, man. Real talk. I expect that from a dirty sport in boxing, but this is a lot of y'all, man. I don't got no, no respect for y'all. None. None. And yeah, my bad. I'm about to make a point. I had a uh, massage appointment because I'm going to going to Charlotte. Uh, it's shit tonight. Now people are like, man, you know, you you doing this, you ain't doing enough streams, man. My fuckers got lives. Dog. I don't do nearly as streams as many streams as I used to. I don't have the time. And then y'all don't be supporting enough for me to do it even find the time. So, shit. Got to get in. We fit in. But what I was saying is this. It's funny how, and this is the major point I wanted to make. I'm glad I saved it for the end. It's funny how, you know, when it's the other, we give them the benefit of the doubt across the board. Black people, niggas, Mexicans, whites, green, Simpson yellow, Marvin the Martian green. We give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's be patient. Let's wait for the B sample. Um, 
You know, we give them the benefit of the doubt. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it, it was probably the computer or it was the meat and then it was the computer or it was he got it from me. Or he had a tainted substance or he took ashram. We give them the benefit of the doubt. But when it's a brother, that motherfucker guilty. And that ain't even just talking about unboxing in, in a quarter of a public opinion. You go look up that OJ trial and you look at the facts. OJ wasn't guilty. But public perception, man. We we are, man, brothers, man, if y'all don't stick together, man, I don't know what to say. And, and, and Jamaicans and, 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 and U.S. Virgin Islands or... You know, or you from the con the motherland, whatever. Y'all ain't got to be with us, and that's fine, bro. You know, brothers from Haiti. You know, y'all want to roll with us? You know, cool. We we accept y'all. But if y'all want to roll with us, we don't hold shit against y'all. But don't. But pick a side. Pick a side. Don't don't wait to act like the Mexicans do when they get in trouble with the white men. Oh man, the brown and brothers need to the blacks need to stick together and fit. Nah, 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 nah. You figure that shit out on your own. Don't do like that. You know, if y'all going to be riding with us, okay, cool. Y'all with us. Y'all brothers, man, y'all got to understand. We got to stay on cold, bro. We can't be out here, you know, giving people like Ryan Garcia a pass and a benefit of all. Oh, let's wait and see for the B sample. And hell no. Nah. When it's us, even if we 100% innocent and people know it, we still guilty. Even if we go through the proper precautions, we guilty. We guilty in our women's eyes. We guilty in everybody else's eyes. We guilty regardless. And if we on the right end of the situation, as far as this one, we st it's still our fault. You still lost. Oh, you you know it don't matter. You 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 know uh, uh, you know no. In these situations, bro, you know we got to stay on cold, bro. Real talk. Brian Garcia was guilty from the very beginning. But a lot of y'all, let's wait and see. But y'all don't wait and see when it's a brother. When nobody wait and see for Jarrell Miller's B sample to come back. No, no, no. Y'all ran with the story. When it's us, we automatically guilty. We automatically guilty. We automatically guilty. So, yeah, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the link tree, find me everywhere, check out the Patreon. Peace.